Hello there, Facebook. Sorry, we're a bit later than planned today, but it's OK because it's social media and it doesn't matter what time we do things because everything's going to be there and available in your feed to access whenever you can, whenever you want it. We're also going to make all these videos available from the websites and all the link resources too. And if anybody would like to do some smaller sessions with me and a small group in Zoom, then get in touch, um, send me a Facebook message, send me an email, and we can arrange that for groups, community groups, schools, colleges, whatever. Okay, so this is the fourth workshop in the Smart TV series of participatory workshops. I have my little Zoom group early this morning, and this one is especially for you on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, so this is civic engagement. So how do we use social media to do good, for social good, to engage people, to, yeah, for social change, for social good, for good things, for good reasons, not just for sharing fake news and news stories and making the world a worse place, trying to make the world a better place. What do we mean by civic engagement? It's working to make a difference in the civic life of your community, developing a combination of knowledge, skills, values, and motivation to make that difference. It means promoting the quality of life in a community through both political and non-political processes. And if we want to know where does social media fit into that, Social media is our form of electronic communication. So we're talking about websites, Twitter, microblogging, Facebook, LinkedIn, anything where we create communities and share information, ideas, personal messages and content like videos or pictures or messages. And we share those electronically online. But we can put those two together. So forming online communities to share information, ideas online in a way that makes a difference in your community. So is it possible? Social media for good. Can we do it? Can we engage with media and information in positive and agentive ways? And can we use social media to make new connections between generations? Can we use social media to bring us more closer together? Can we use it to bring us together instead of creating factions and tribes and driving each other apart? So let's have a look. Some examples of things that are already happening and have been happening over the past few years. There is, there is a website called Be The Light, where a group of high school students in America, they use social media. Um, they started off by collecting books. So they use social media to advertise the cause and they collected books, which were then redistributed to tackle the local literacy gap. And they also raise money by selling courses. So this is high school children running their own course to make money for charity for disadvantaged children and running their own book swap and other community initiatives to help their local community. They're just running it through a free blog. You can set one up on WordPress. It's really easy to do. Um, so there's another one here. It's a fundraising page set up by a 16-year-old to provide notebooks for school children because they noticed that locally school children were having to provide their own notebooks or teachers are having to provide notebooks, found an issue and found a way to solve the problem, local fundraising. Or there's a young lady also in America called Hannah Alpha who's labeled herself a kind raiser. So she just writes a blog and everything on there is promoting a good cause promoting something locally, promoting ways to be 
kind. She says, kind raising is about challenging and changing our communities in the world through kindness. She believes it takes more money, more than money, to create a lot of change. And working compassion, empathy and kindness play a huge part in reaching the goal. So that's a few examples from the field. We've also got some examples from the web in Pont de so let's see some Pont de examples. So over the COVID lockdown, a group, an intergenerational group of young people and old people and educators, we got together and formed a volunteer group called Grow Pont de We got the community, or they got the community, to donate plants, seeds, pots, compost, um, canes, anything that they had spare from the garden that they didn't want. And then the young people made them up into gift packs, which were passed out through uh, local food bank deliveries. So this is just a group of volunteers wondering what can we do to make a difference in people's lives, to make things better for improving well-being got the whole community involved in bringing stuff together, use social media to organize it. And then there were also some photos shared on here of people who've grown stuff and shared out what they've been doing and what they've made as a result of the group. Um, there's another blog, this is a WordPress blog, another group of volunteers in a slightly different area, still local to here who decided to declare their county a zero waste area and used Facebook to promote competitions and get people to interact by sending their own zero waste hacks. We've also got this, which is using social media to declare an area a gorilla nature reserve. So this area isn't officially a nature reserve, but the group is using social media to get attention and to encourage people to look after where they live. So there are lots of things happening and lots of ways that you can use social media to do something good. So how can you make a difference? You can create positive content, build community, random acts of kindness, engage in what already is already happening in your community and reclaim social media, reclaim it. It doesn't have to belong to the advertisers. So when we post on social media, it's not just us that sees it. And it's not just our friends that see it, but quite often our friends are friends and then their friends will share things. And we are influenced by things that we see in our feeds from our friends, which means that we have the power to influence the opposite direction. So if, if we can be influenced by something that a friend of a friend of a friend shared, then we also have the power to influence a friend of a friend of a friend. So we can create positive content, then we can positively influence our friends and our friends' friends and our friends' friends. So ways of doing something positive. Just think of acts of kindness. We could leave somebody a positive comment. You know how much it makes you smile when somebody says something nice and then you go in a better mood and you're more likely to say something nice to the next person. Kindness and positivity and smiles are infectious. Uh, share a funny story. Tell people about something good, something positive. Share music, share recipes. Help someone out if they're asking a question. Leave positive reviews for local small businesses. And if you think of anything else, please add them in the comments. 
You can engage in community. There are loads and loads of groups on social media, people with similar interests. And it could be nature, gardening, cookery, sewing, crochet, crafts, uh, car restoring, um, buses. There are so many groups out there. So if you pick a couple that you're interested in and make an effort to engage positively and only share positive content and exchange ideas, then you can start to make a difference. And this question here is, is there a way in which these online interactions can impact your physical community? I guess there are, because if you look back at the examples we just looked at, if we're encouraging people to go and pick litter or to, um, to tidy up, to paint things, to create art, to help each other out, to cook food for each other, then there's definitely becomes a real impact on the physical community and not just in the online space. And we can use social media to build community. There's a huge um, litter pick challenge with the moment, but if you haven't got something like that locally, you can start it. A book club, um, you, can, you can run a book club with people that you are never going to meet just through social media. Pick a book, decide to read it, get some people to discuss it with you. Skill swapping, seed and plant exchange. Put something out there, see if people agree with you and then start it and make something happen. So our social media giants are there to make money. They want to sell time for advertisers. They want to sell our thoughts, our time interacting. They want to make money from that and they want to keep us scrolling. But if you've made the decision to use social media, don't be a passive consumer, be critical make the situation better, not worse, share good things, don't argue. I know I am just as guilty of that as other people, but try and make things positive. We have the power to make our own content and we can use tools to do good. We don't have to click, we don't have to engage in the argument, we don't have to share the things that are unpleasant. We can think about what we share before we share it and we have the power to reclaim some of it and make it some good things come out. Okay, it's just a short session today because there's lots to think about and lots for you to go and do. For each of the Make a Difference headings, we want you to pledge to do one thing. Write down your ideas, and go make a difference and tag Pontodusky or hashtag smart-eu and then so we can see what you're up to or tag me, Angela Paradog. So that's it. It's been a lovely four sessions. I hope you've enjoyed them. Please get in touch if you would like to do more. If you have any comments, there is a feedback form. I'll share the link. Please do give us some feedback. And as I said at the start, these will be made available as videos with link resources. And if you'd like to run a separate course, a small course that's not this public thing where we can have proper discussions together, then do get in touch. Okay, so your task is look at each of these, see what you can do to tick each of these boxes, each of these circles, one thing for each of the five, and let me know what you're doing up to. Right. Thank you all.